and um, lack of access to resources simply because of language barrier. Um, um, the, other, the other problem, major problem was the problem of fear. People were so fearful of uh, people who were up for various social services at that time. And even, even if one may be acting in good faith, but uh, the fact that most of these people came from uh, a war torn country where people were people in uniform perpetrated violence against them, and uh, but, uh, especially those in authority, uh, they were afraid of anything that had to do with government. So, as, uh, as a means of addressing this problem, and on top of that, Many young people came here at that time who did not go to school, but when they came here, they were placed in grades based on their ages. So we decided to organize the program, a drop, create a drop-in center, a place where people can come and, um, and, and, and access basic resources and, um, uh, and get help, a place that will be used to coordinate as a coordinated point for social services. So, we started this traffic center in 2005, and since the creation of the traffic center, we have been, we have, um, uh, they have served as a, a, a hub for the coordination of services in this neighborhood that we've served. We provided services to over uh, 3,000 people since our, our our creation. We offered a, a rate of services. Um, help with resume preparation, uh, immigration assistance, health screening as you see here. Um, we, we have a food pantry here on Wednesday and we use the food pantry as a bed to call to have people come. But actually, actually, our goal is to let, let people come using the food and that. And uh, when they come for food, we do help. We do screening for chronic diseases, heart blood pressure, diabetes, and some uh, diabetes education, um, from health education. Um, uh, and uh, we we also help with uh, with uh, yeah, immigration, which is a big problem there. You know, help people uh, adjust status, uh, green card. Um, citizenship application, citizenship education, and other and other immigration related uh, uh, problems. We, um, on, on top of that, we also help do referral to uh, our other social service social services outside. Um, there are other cases we don't handle here ourselves, so we refer it out. But one thing I must say here is that the secret of our success. Uh, is our partnership and collaboration with external agencies. We, we could not have provided all of these services without a strong partnership with uh, our, both academic and social service institutions, including other community members who have been very, help, very helpful in terms of providing uh, volunteer services and, and um, uh, Academic institution using this site as a as a work work study site uh, for students and um, has been very very help, helpful in terms of uh, our capacity to offer services to people in the community here. You know we uh, we also have our youth program at the at one forty this at the one forty facility is bigger than this facility there we offer. Uh, uh, basic academic uh, academic support, uh, such as homework help, um, tutoring, um, and uh, art art education, and uh, some recreational activities. Uh, our goal is to help kids uh, to um, to uh, reach their full potential through uh, some through support academic support. Because we believe that uh, when these kids, when when uh, at this time of their age, if they don't get help they need to succeed in school, they will become a liability to, to, to the society. Ultimately, they will say they from Liberia, <laughs> you know. So we decided to really um, focus our youth program on academic uh, 
uh, as academic support. And I know you guys had some questions as well around larger issues around the election and political issues, maybe. Yeah. Well, maybe we.